Good morning, fellas. It's Raptor Jesus with another episode of the workshop. We're going through and uh, setting up my campaign on World Anvil. And we're just finishing out the lakes. Just plotting this little uh, lake out. I think we're almost done with most of the lakes. I just have the last few to figure out, fellas. I uh, forgot to get the color code once again. So I'll just grab that from another lake when I do this one. Not sure what to call this one yet. Ooh, the dreaded Cougar Lake. It's not the fun kind of cougars either, unfortunately. It's those vicious ones. The ones that want alimony payments. <laughs> right, so I'll copy the, the color code here. make sure you put it in the right category. Keeps things nice and organized. You'll thank me later when, uh, if you're anal about your categories and organization now. Apologize for my squeaky chair. It's old, but it holds my fat ass up pretty well. I think we're on our last two waterways. I had one right here. Nice little watering hole for all the various animals and such that frequent this region. Fill out the description for the old Pike Lake a little bit. I think I'll make this one like a prime fishing spot for the old pikes. Some good eating if you've never had pike, you should give it a try. I know a lot of people don't really like fish. But when it's all you got up in the, them there mountains, you know, you take what you can get, fellas, you take what you can get. And 
then there is a little bit of a, a lake, or I'm not sure if it's a lake or the edge of a, a bay that goes off to some other portion of the of the world. Which is handy to have edges of your map when you're uh, you're running a lot of different DMs and such. Because then you can have them just make a different territory that goes off of your map. So each DM has their own map that they they mess with, which I think is handy. It's a bit of an older style of play when when there is in-person war club, war game clubs and and role-playing you know, groups and such, which I kind of. Uh, was around for the the last vestiges of that kind of you know, how we played role playing games before the the advent of you know easy voice chat. <laughs> so now all I do is usually play over Discord. You know, my friends from all around the different parts of the world that I've I've gathered through the years. And if you guys ever want to join, my Discord link is in my About section. And uh, you guys are always willing to to come and join and and talk with us uh, about various subjects. Any sort of nerd topics is totally fine with me. You know, I just don't like talking about religion, politics, or your sexuality. I don't care. I just want to play role playing games, fellows. And it's just a good way to get into arguments. And ultimately, this stuff doesn't really matter. And you want to get mad at your friends all day because they've voted for someone you don't like? I don't think that's really conducive to a sane and stable and moral relationship with your friends. And even if they do vote for someone you don't like, I don't think you should, uh, you should rail against them. See, me, myself, I don't really vote. I don't think there's any, uh... I don't think politicians are very trustworthy. I wish I could trust them, fellas. I wish I could, but... I'm sure a lot of you won't like that, but... It's alright. Doesn't hurt me. <laughs> It's just that season where the American usually gets all riled up about who says what and what policy means what for you, but I just don't care. <laughs> it's an entirely tiring to me, <laughs> fellas, so I hope you don't hold it against me, but that's just how it is. checking over these various lakes and I think I got all of the lakes set up. All right, I guess that's the rest. Hope you guys the, have a good uh, game next time, all right? If you have any questions, please comment down below. I hope you like my video. If you want to see more of this stuff, please uh, subscribe. And I hope you guys uh, have a good game next time you play and keep your shield arm strong, all right?